I thawed out my turkey in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna wash and clean the turkey with some sea salt. Preheat your oven at 325. This is what I'm gonna use to season and stuff the turkey with. We've got the cooking white wine, the butter, apples, oranges, onion. We're gonna mix the seasoning together in a bowl. I'm using Creole seasoning by Zataran. Onion powder. Garlic powder. And some butt rub. We're gonna mix this all into a bowl and mix it all together. We're gonna use this to season the turkey. And I'm gonna use some olive oil. We are gonna go ahead and rub the olive oil all over the turkey. And these are my cooking gloves. I don't like to use my hands, so if you want to use cooking gloves, it's great. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle the seasoning all over the turkey. Rub it uh, into the um, neck cavity and just get the seasoning all over the turkey. We're going to go ahead and flip the turkey over and do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you get the neck area and just rub the seasoning all over the turkey. Now we're going to go ahead and use this garlic herb butter seasoning. Shake it very well. Now we are going to use this to inject the turkey with to add it some more flavor. So I'm um, going to pour this in a cup and I've got my cooking syringe and this seasoning actually comes with the syringe. Um, it's the Tony Ciceris, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the last name correctly, uh, garlic herb seasoning garlic butter herb seasoning and you're going to use this to inject the turkey and wherever you inject your turkey do both sides equally I normally like to get the thighs um, the leg area and the breast area Now we're gonna go ahead and stuff the turkey with the apples, the orange, the onions, and the butter. We're gonna start with two sticks of butter, put it into the cavity of the turkey, and one ball of onion. And then we're gonna go ahead and stuff it with some apples. I've sliced up my apples. I'm using green apples. You can use whatever apples um, you want to use. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it with some sliced oranges. And you're just gonna continue the process with the sliced oranges and the sliced apples until you get it done, um, until you're done stuffing it, until it's full. Alright, so I'm going to bake this in the oven at 325 degrees, and depending on the size of your turkey would determine how long you'll cook it. Um, this is about a 16 pound turkey. I'm going to cook it for about four hours. This is what I'm going to use to baste the turkey with. We're going to go ahead and melt the butter in the um, microwave for about 
40 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this uh, cooking white wine. I'm using about, I'm pouring about a cup of this um, white wine, cooking white wine. You can use any uh, cooking white wine. And mix it in there, and this is what we're gonna use to baste the turkey with. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some on the turkey before I put it in the oven. And I normally um, baste my turkey an hour after it cooks and an hour before it's done. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some more seasoning before I put it in the oven. Sprinkle some more seasoning on the top. And I'm gonna cover this with some foil. And your turkey is done when it's about 180 degrees, which your um, temperature reading. And I normally put this back into the oven for another five minutes on broil to um, brown the top of the turkey a little bit more.